Good morning, it's Johnny Boy. And today I want to show you what I do on my day off. Taking the dogs this morning. There's Rocco. Look at Rocco. Bella. I'm carrying Tiny. This is Ginge. Look at Ginge. She doesn't like putting the fur on herself. This is Tiny. They don't like going for walkies. Not with the harnesses. There he is. Get here. You won't get in the car. Come here. Yeah, he stopped. She stopped him. She stopped him. Oh, he's off. Finally got him in. Hey, behave. Frost in May. Mm -hmm. Somebody's sneaked over. I know. Well, I just wanted to show you what I do to chill out. I'm just taking the dogs. Every day we take the dogs. And uh, we got four dogs. We got Rocco there, which you just cannot touch him. No one can go anywhere near him because he'll bite. He's a little Jack Russell. And then we've got these three, two pups and the mother Bella up there. Terriers. Billy Callison, Terrier. Do you enjoy the walks in the morning? Best talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Yeah, talk to the camera. No. Go on. No, it is, though, isn't it? Yeah. It get is. out walking. And when we get out, it's great, isn't it? Yeah. I love it. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. Beechwood. Beautiful. And over there, I'll show the, the bluebells in a minute. Look at these. Absolutely stunning. These are the British bluebells. And the Spanish bluebells, I think they got a, a bigger leaf. But they can be really invasive, the Spanish ones. But look at these, stunning. What we see sometimes up the woods, we see buzzards, don't we, Al? Yeah. And the woodpeckers, it's absolutely beautiful. But the thing that we're conscious of eh, is there's a field over there and uh, it's the lambing season now. And uh, just got to make sure that the dogs don't chase after any of the lambs. So we've got, especially the pups, because they're just inquisitive. So we've got Tiny on the lead now. I don't think she'd hurt them, but she would chase them for sure because they've never really seen them. So you've just got to be a little bit responsible. What was that? She's so important this time of year, well, any time of year, to keep your dogs on the lead around sheep. Yeah, livestock, isn't it? Yeah. Look at this here. Absolutely stunning, beautiful. What's time now? It's quite early, isn't it? It's seven o'clock. Yeah, just after seven. And uh, this is a great place to go walking. You'll see the odd people coming through, cyclists, runners, walkers, but not many. Actually, if you're thinking of moving, move to Wales. Not too many of you though. I was saying we've really spoke about in the past, haven't we, about moving, haven't we, in, you know, in the past. And uh, we like to live in different places like all of us sometimes. We all think about 
I wish you'd <laughs> slow down to sort of like move abroad, isn't it? We had that idea about moving abroad and, you know, we've had opportunities, but there's nothing better than Wales, is there, where we are, is there? No, it's stunning. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. We're so lucky to live where we are. We've worked hard for it, but to be near to this location now, look at this down here. It's beautiful. It's stunning. Come on, Ty. Come on, good girl. That's the thing about these terriers, they, they want to go off, don't they? Some of you are going to say, well, why is he showing us a video of him out walking the dogs? But um, <laughs> some people were saying the other day that it's just porcelain, porcelain, porcelain. Oh, get out, Rocco. And uh, it's not just about the porcelain. Uh, I get asked to do these videos all the time about the porcelain and yeah, I get a bit fed up on the how-tos, that's why I sort of, it's not, it drives me insane a little bit to be honest, but then I just think about all those people that, that have had bad jobs done or potentially, the good thing about it, the more videos we do about it, is that people have a little bit more insight and as somebody said the other day, that DIYers will have the, the ability to do it now which is good. You're always going to want those professionals because some of those DIYs hasn't, they haven't got the time for those big projects. So there's nothing wrong with that. And, uh, you know, so that's the reason that I'm doing this video today because it's not all about the paving. It's not all about the how-to videos. We do live our life and uh, we don't get enough of this, what we're doing now. Well, there's a lot of deciduous and broadleaf trees down here but there is an area where there's the coniferous woods trees and that's the product that they farm and they've been up here recently and they've got to do it but sometimes they leave a bit of a mess but nevertheless look at it it's stunning yeah the pups are, are really good now tiny tends to go off and want to go down the pipes the culverts uh, but the three of them, uh, the rest of them are pretty good. It's just tiny, we got to watch. And of all things, she's actually quite shy when we're, we're home. Uh, she's shy of people. And uh, you think that she's, uh, she, if you see met her for the first time, that she's just a quiet dog. But she, she's probably more tenacious than, than all of them. I just checked what these were called and if I wanted to just get it right, they got like a little, gotta be so careful because this time of year there are, <laughs> there are adders around in places, not this early, but look, they have little yellow flowers if you can see them in the middle. And these are anemone nemorus, or I think they're called, but just a woodland anemone, but absolutely stunning. Look at the white and the blue of the bluebells, absolutely stunning. And the green and the different shades of green as well. When you go out and have a look at this, this should give you some inspiration for, you know, your garden, you know, building your garden, whether you're a DIYer or whether you're, you know, um, you know, even a professional, a garden designer, you know, it's, uh, this is where the inspiration comes. The light, the shadows. Well, this is where they've started farming some of that woodland stock, the, those big coniferous, pines and I'm not sure I think they become posts and decking and rails and the homegrown stuff yeah, to be honest it's a little bit unstable if you use it in your garden let's go and have a look down here now if you just look through there now you see all the green and uh, it's that's absolutely stunning but look at the the leaves the beech leaves the brown on the floor and you can see why people use beech hedging 
uh, because it changes colour and you have that all, great in the autumn and again and it looks absolutely fantastic against evergreen plants uh, and that's what you want you want some diversity and some seasonal interest <laughs> well there you are i think they they it's great for the wildlife after maybe i don't know but you think they clear some of that up i don't know that's where they shred it all they've got a job to do and they've got to make money but should they clean it up a little bit more because this <laughs> but it just looks like a uh, a site from the film Gladiator um, and it's just I don't know there we go not that they had machines in the Gladiator days look at that though. that's a uh, Macken Mountain I think they call that and on the top there on the left hand side we just slow down you can actually see this is where all the coal slack used to be on that that bit there if you just zoom in there there we are But look, it's beautiful. It's not like it was. I remember being a kid traveling down to Wales. My parents are Welsh and coming down here, working on the markets when I was a kid. And uh, that was back in the late seventies. And it just looked, you know, with the coal slacks and the heaps that just looked awful. But look at it, it's stunning. Wales is beautiful. She's having a bit of trouble with tiny shorts go down the, the drain pipes. I bet she'll call me in a minute. And I bet she'll give me the look back. You might just hear the woodpecker now. There we go. Just be quiet a minute. Oh, that's brilliant. I wonder if we can spot it. We're going to try and look for the woodpecker. Oh. There he goes. There he is. There he is. There you can see the colour on him. Did you see him? Yeah. Are they great colour? Wasn't that incredible? Just I, You may not have seen it on the camera, but we could just see the woodpecker and they've got like a... Quite a bit of red, aren't they? Quite yeah. bright red and uh, <laughs> beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We were so lucky to catch that then. But they make such for a small bird, they make so much noise. Birds do, don't they? Make a lot of noise. Some. There you are. <laughs> the eye won't stick in his mouth, so don't worry. Good boy. Obviously, this area was part of the, the COVID restrictions. What happened with the COVID restrictions in this area? You, you, we weren't allowed to walk up here, were we? No. So it, we, we, did, we, we did abide by the rules, didn't we? Yeah. But the wildlife, when people stopped walking up here, it must have sort of increased in, you know, uh, you see it around where you live in the urban areas, but certainly in areas like this, um, all the wildlife must have sort of returned in abundance. Look at the colours of this beech tree. Look at the green. Just a total different shade from others. And look how the light shines through. And this is what you can bring into a garden sometimes and create that dappled shade. He ain't let that stick go, is he? If you look at this part here, obviously this is where they've cleared it before with the coniferous, the woodland stock, the, what they farm. But what it's been replaced with, and it's just grown naturally, is uh, native silver birch. It's absolutely everywhere over there. Oh, well, we've got Madam here. On oh, back on the lead now. She got amongst all the brambles. It's what terriers do, and uh, we half expect it, but she can stay on the lead now for a while. After the rabbits was your time. Mm -hmm. 
Good girl. Good boy. Well, here we go. We've just come out of that uh, woodland area and we've come across an area now where obviously it's been farmed at some point and then you've got all the native uh, silver birch that has started to grow in this area and uh, all the like Cretaceous monogyna, the hawthorn um, beach. Um... Just got to watch Tiny because she's gone off a few times now. She's never done that so many times before, so you've got to watch her. I tell you now, seriously, you get asked that question, if you won the lottery, what would you buy? And people always talk about cars and big houses, but for me, it'd be to buy a, a park like this, and to have my own, my own land, and uh, hey, look, it'd be great to allow other people to use it, but just having that freedom and that space to come out and walk is, is perfect. There they are again, the anemone. Nemosa, I'm not, I'm not quite sure if that is the Latin name for it, but they're a ground cover anemone, like those Japanese anemones. It's got a similar shaped leaf. She's off again. She's down a pipe. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that walk as much as we, we, as we did. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. And just showing you what we do on our day off. It's not all about the paving. 